So the first question is, how does a water maker actually work? Well, it takes in raw seawater and this is lifted by a 12 volt pump up to the position of the water maker itself. It then goes through two filters. It goes through a 20 micron filter followed by a 5 micron filter. At that stage the water passes to the high pressure pump which in our case is a Karcher pressure washer and it puts, pushes the water out at about 800 psi. It then goes through a meter long membrane and that takes out all the salty deposits and leaves us with fresh water. Now there are a few valves, one-way valves, uh, various different things in there but in its simplest form that is what how a water maker works. So let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. So this pump is the uh, feeder pump that pumps the water uh, into the water maker from the sea. And this is the very first strainer here, which will take out any large leaf, uh, pieces like a leaf or something like that, or some uh, little creature that's... So we have to clean it once? Yeah, every now and then we'll have to clean that out. Right, well this here is the uh, sea cock that we're going to use for the water maker. At the moment it feeds this which goes to the kitchen sink and is a seawater uh, connection which we don't use. So that's where we're going to put the water maker? Yeah, on that back wall. On that back wall, so we can see all the um, displays, right? Yep. Gauges. And it's, it's easy and not easy access, isn't it? It won't be as easy as it looks now because it's going to be in here. Yeah. But I can't find anywhere else to put it, to be honest. So I think it just has to be in here. Mm -hmm. I can't see any other option. On the top. Yeah. You do you? It's gonna be just right there. It's not. It's okay that too. What? It's not too close to that wall. At this stage, I should point out that there is a third filter. This is a carbon filter, and is only used during the rinsing process with fresh water from your tank. It then passes through this filter, through a one-way valve, and into the system to flush it out. First job done? Yeah, we should still get these, get these off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's have the big white tube and let's see what happens. <clears throat> this pipe here, uh, it does fit across the back, but there's not enough flex for the pipes to come out. They need to come out quite straight. They can't go in at a right angle. And uh, I'm just trying to find some way of uh, doing that. So I think what I'm going to do is cut a hole in that uh, panel over there, a round hole, big hole, about that size, and I can kind of shove it through. We 
feed pipes through the boat, starting with the raw water feed okay, from the 12 volt pump to the water maker. So this is the feed for the water from the sea. I'm just extending this so that it's got a nice curve as opposed to a sharp curve. We now have the seawater input coming through the 12 volt pump, through a one way valve and into the very first filter. Good old gardening fitting here. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of hose is needed now to go to the uh, karcher. Get it in place first before. Need. Our water hose is just getting smaller and smaller. Oh, isn't this it? is a spare one. Oh, this is a yeah. spare. Okay. Yeah, it's not the uh, It's getting. Uh, um, has a look that it's getting ready, isn't it? Yeah, it all looks a bit Heath Robinson, as we really call it in Britain. You know, a bit sort of uh, bodged together, really. But, but, uh, I don't know. I've got good, I've got absolute faith that it's going to go. It's going to work. Well, it has to work. It has to work. Yeah. So this connection is fresh water. So after you've run your water maker, you have to flush it through for about 10 minutes to uh, clean the filters out. So you need fresh water. So again, I'm taking the feed that goes to the foot pump. Because that's sort of kind of dedicated, it doesn't do anything. So it's going to go fit in there. This is the freshwater connection, which as you can see also goes through a timer so that you can set it to automatically flush the system through. Uh, for example, every week if you're not using the boat during the winter to prevent any bacteria building up in the system. What are we doing now? Uh, we're trying to put the, this hose pipe in, which is the uh, pipe, which is going to take our fresh water from the water maker to the water tank. This is a cap on top of the tank which uh, could be used as a filling pipe. The one on the port side is where we actually fill it, the one on the starboard side is just a blank. So what I'm going to do is to drill a hole in there and put this fitting in there like that and I can screw it back in. This will go underneath and there we go. Done. That's clever. Nothing but the best. Okay. One screws in like that to hold it in place. That goes in there. The rubber ring goes in there, and that screws on top of the. Uh... Looks perfect. Oops, your uncle. Getting back into my other hole. Huh. 
That's my famous Makita. I've had that years. It burnt out today. <laughs> That's how strong the boat is. Okay. We're making great progress. So, we have connected the seawater in. We have connected the fresh water in for rinsing. That's that one over there. We've connected the karcher, the pressure washer. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's, there's some little uh, cream coloured uh, connectors on the dirt table. Okay, okay. This one's? Yeah, one of those. There we go. Alright, so that's actually the feed going to the I'm gonna I'm gonna fix all these cables given tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the only one left to do is the discharge which comes out of there. So that's sort of like kind of like the excess water where you control the pressure. Um, and that has to go over the side. And we've got to find a way of doing that. And then that's all the plumbing. Good job you are good in plumbing, isn't it? Yep. This is not I learned learn plumbing from my father. This is not a job for everyone. No, it isn't actually. It's not a job for everyone. Um, you could be pretty good at the old DIY. To, to, to do this it's, it's more tedious than anything else it's not difficult, it's tedious everything's a struggle because it's a boat yeah. I mean when Mindy does it in the example, she's just on the key picking one thing up to the other and she lobs it in the water and the, you know it comes out <laughs> but it's not like that when you're trying to fit it all to the boat so, this pipe is a discharge pipe so there isn't really much pressure here, the water's just running out, but it's got to go into a 25mm pipe to exit the boat. So, uh, in my uh, pan, uh, you're cooking some pipes, pipes for pipes. dinner. Yeah, I know, but so what we're going to do is we're going to run four different sizes of pipe together. Hopefully, it will we'll get to a point whereby. So, this one's going to go in here. That's got some silicon on it. This one is going to go inside that one. So, here we have it. We've got this pipe, which has gone into that pipe, which has gone into that pipe, which has gone into another pipe, and then into this green pipe. This is the uh, discharge pipe, travelling through these different pipes, to come into this uh, exhaust pipe from the uh, shower. And we put a T-piece in there and then from there it drains out overboard. So that's coming from the membrane filter. Okay. So two, two easy jobs. One was to uh, plug the karcher, the pressure washer in, uh, to produce some electricity. But that turned into a little bit of a nightmare because well, we can't buy a uh, continental plug here. So in the end we had to cut the plug off, put a 13 amp British plug on and then put an adapter in. And the other job we had to do was to run the 12 volt to the priming pump, which is down in the bilges, which was a bit of an epic because of getting it through the boat. The two of us struggled quite a long time with that. And then it wouldn't work and uh, took the plugs off, took the sockets off, and in the end, the 12 volt pump is faulty. It's come with the kit. 
So we're having to go and buy a new bottle. A bit of a disaster. It is a bit of a disaster. So we're off to the Chandra. To be fair to Mike at uh, Seawater... Uh, uh, that's what I was going to say. He offered to... <laughs> he's offered to send me a replacement and also he said if you buy one locally I will credit you uh, $75 back. So, you know, these things happen and we just need to sort it out. Yeah, the problem is finding one now, isn't it? Finding one. Yeah. Hopefully we will find it. We will. We need to be positive. Mm. I know we're tired. And, and the boat is a mess. The, the boat is a mess. The boat is in bits. And it makes water. It was making uh, 20 liter, 20 gallons an hour, and 145 parts per whatever it is of uh, rubbish, which apparently is really low because uh, Florida is 400 uh, parts per million. So, uh, and it tasted all right as well. I had a little taste. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put a tap in somewhere but then we can try it, try it, and make sure it's okay. But, I think really, do you know what, almost anybody could do it with a bit of, uh, if you know a little bit about uh, electrics and a little bit about plumbing. I think uh, you know, you need to know a bit more than a bit. Yeah, and how to use a screwdriver. Uh, and, I think you need uh, to cut know a few holes. Uh, be very and patient. we didn't actually have to cut any holes uh, into the boat because we we had a, a dedicated uh, seat cock coming in and uh, the output uh, we put into the, uh, um, the shower waste out so uh, it just goes in and then it'll just go out underneath the bridge deck so yeah I think it was good it was good uh, I'm gonna do the cost but I'm gonna have to work out how much I actually spent because I need to write it all. Yes. It's all separated there. Yeah. But I have to say it's the cheapest water maker you could buy. And actually, surprisingly, when this lid's closed, it's not that noisy. No, it's not. I, I thought mean, it was going to be worse because be everyone worse. complains a lot, so I yeah. thought it was going to be... Yeah. It's, uh, it's not as much as the engine is on. No. 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 Okay, it'd be irritated. You wouldn't want to sit here necessarily. But yeah, but you're not you can do it run. while you're cooking dinner or something or you're or inside. you were away yeah. go, going on the way you know well, so yeah you, know. you can't leave you can't leave it because you've got to adjust uh, okay. it uh, keep keep it just at the right level so uh, but you know that's going to get us out of jail free many times isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think we'll probably still fill up occasionally but the pressure's off us yes totally uh, absolutely yeah and 20 gallons an, an hour if you run it an hour every couple of days we're fine Every three days. Yeah, my phone. So, all in all, a success. I wouldn't want to do it again. And if it goes wrong, I know how to fix it. You know everything, I'm sure. Yeah. So. Uh, even I know. Even you do. <laughs> most of it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you.